the DSS can no longer deny that they have Godwin Emefele in their custody because of a video that went viral just yesterday. At first, the DSS was saying that they do not have Godwin Emefele in their custody, but as soon as the video went viral, they could no longer deny it. In fact, as we speak, they are seeking to get a court order for an, for an extension on his detention period. Before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel as well by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Breaking news, secrets in Emi Feli's house and office, insider circles about to be exposed, the battle of secrets begins. The Department of State Services, DSS, is reportedly planning to conduct searches at the home and office of Godwin Emi Feli, the suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. As part of their ongoing investigation, a source from the DSS reveals that Imifele may not be released from custody soon and that his arrest signifies an escalation in the agency's pursuit of him. The source also mentioned the likelihood of searching Imifele's residence and office to further their investigation. Emefeli has been on the DSS watch list for some time and his arrest is a significant development in the investigation. The DSS had previously attempted to obtain a warrant for his arrest but failed to provide sufficient evidence to convince the chief judge of the Federal High Court. The current investigation into Emefele covers allegations of terrorism financing, mismanagement of Nigerians' social investment program, and the anchor borrowers scheme, among other issues. Meanwhile, reporters who visited Emefele's residence in Meitama FCT Abuja found it conspicuously empty. There were no security operatives or significant activity observed around the compound during their visit. The CBN headquarters, on the other hand, remained under the watch of its own security personnel with no signs of the DSS present. This is in contrast to early events this year when a team of policemen was seen at Emefele's house and DSS operators reportedly invaded the CBN office. Emefele's suspension from office by President Bola Tinobu came just two days before his arrest. The suspension was based on ongoing investigations into his office and planned reforms in the financial sector of the economy. Emefele was directed to hand over the affairs of his office to the Deputy Governor Operations Directorate pending the conclusion of the investigation and reforms. Godwin Emefele assumed office as the CBN Governor in 2014, succeeding Lamido Sanusi. His tenure has been marked by criticism from Nigerians regarding his management of the economy his political stance and controversial policies implemented by the APS Bank. The Nigerian currency, the Naira, has experienced a significant decline during its tenure, with exchange rates reaching record lows. Inflation rates have also been challenging to contain, reaching 22.2% in May. According to the Nation's Statistics Bureau, as the investigation into Emefele continues, the DSS remains committed to uncovering any potential wrongdoing. The searches at his residence and office are part of their efforts 
to gather evidence and bring clarity to the allegations. Nigerians await the conclusion of the investigation to shed light on the situation and determine the potential consequences for Imifeli and others involved. Very soon, like I said in my previous video, we are going to be hearing names like big, big names, big, big names. For example, Dangote's name have already been mentioned. You know, I feel that Imifeli is not going to get off easily with this you know just that uh, <laughs> i just i hope that Sinobu is able to this anti-corruption that he has started you know this investigation i just hope it doesn't it doesn't end end with uh, winch hunting he doesn't end with emifele you know i hope he it goes round just like that i hope that it's not only limited to uh people that do not belong in their circle you know although some people have called for the arrest of buhari as well because they find it impossible that such uh corrupt practices will be going on during his administration and he would not know about it you know but at the same time i don't think that is possible though i'm very hopeful i'm crossing my fingers that this doesn't just end with emifele you know they go after those big guns we all know that tinobu is not it's not it's not innocent he's not innocent when it comes to corruption when it comes to all these things we are talking about but let's just pretend that is <laughs> let's just pretend that he's innocent i hope that it it, it really you know fights corruption and he really sets the standards for other administrations that will be coming after him and i feel that also when these you know during dasuki's uh scandal the scandal that went down with dasuki there were a lot of names that were mentioned but at the same time those big big names the government did not go after them whether due to one or two reasons you know they did not go after them they only went after dasuki and it was full stop to it the other names he mentioned, it was either they, they, they reached a deal, a bargain, for them to return the money, one of which is uh, doing your kukwe, who they even went hunted up to the last minute. You know, what I'm trying to say in essence is that they really go after the big gun. If he mentions Buhari, they should go after Buhari. That is what I'm trying to say. But hopefully, hopefully, I know we are in Nigeria. <laughs> but... You guys, let me have your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think is going to happen? How do you think this is going to pan out? Let me have your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this video with your friends and family. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.